We begin with breaking news out of Klamath Falls tonight where a manhunt is happening right now in Olean. That's about nine miles east of Klamath Falls. It began late this morning and may be connected to a burglary earlier in the day. NBC2's Lyle Ahrens is at the scene where police have a suspect cornered in a mobile home. Lyle joining us on the phone right now. What can you tell us? Well, right now I'm looking over the scene here in the Olean Valley, about nine miles, like I say, east of Klamath Falls, uh, starting to get a little bit dark here, but they are bringing in a lot of uh, SWAT teams from across the state. Uh, right now, I'd estimate we've probably got about 20-plus uh, patrol cars, and uh, here's a couple more arriving as I'm talking. Uh, we've also got an ambulance and a uh, fire truck on hand just in case. Just to back up, uh, things began, at least I became aware of things, at around 8, uh, 1030 this morning when there was an apparent burglary in the Swan Lake area. Uh, police tracked the suspect vehicle further east, and that, uh, that Bronco left the road about 15 miles east of Klamath Falls in a very, very rugged area, uh, driving off the road farther than I can imagine taking a Bronco. Uh, the driver fled on foot. Search dogs were called out and a helicopter was called in. They had probably uh, well over a dozen officers doing some ground pounding trying to find the, uh, the suspect. Then at around 2 this afternoon, uh, police got word that a possible suspect may be in the Olean area where we are now. Uh, that suspect was tracked apparently on an AV ATV, from what I understand, to a mobile home. And uh, police now have that home surrounded. They've secured a perimeter around the area, and they are waiting for uh, SWAT uh, teams to arrive, and they are coming in as we speak. So right now, uh, you can tune in later, and hopefully we'll have more information for you during one of the late shows. All right, Lyle Aaron's reporting uh, east of Klamath Falls tonight. Thanks for that information, Lyle. We'll have more on our website, kobi5.com, and tonight on NBC5 News at 11. Lyle, thanks.